Hello, Scorpio. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, The Grab 33 Tarot. She's read you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. I was gonna say, I was just gonna say too, and as you can see at the deck, the devil's just kind of popping out right there. Um, I was just thinking about earlier how my wife and I were talking about how for some reason, Scorpio, your energies are your readings. There's always something that kind of like eerie or spooky that goes on. Um, you know, it kind of sounds so typical or cliche to just kind of like say, oh, it's the death energy. You know, it, it, you know, it's Pluto. It's like you just don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what's going to happen, how things are going to turn out. Um, is it true, I wonder, though? Is it truly true? Or is it just kind of something that's been built up with everyone thinking that's kind of true? I don't know. But we'll see what's going on with this because for some reason I get, I'm getting these messages of things I'm not going to talk about on this channel nor any other channel, but... If it comes up, I'll talk about it, but until it does, I'm not going to. I feel like for you right now, this almost has this energy of an ultimatum written all over it. Either one giving someone an ultimatum or a situation or circumstance kind of giving you an ultimatum. In the sense of either one, this is going to be made right and things are going to be cleared up and then we're going to move forward and make that conscious decision to keep things on track and move forward with that or some, it's something taking place between you and someone. I don't exactly know, but whatever this progression is of events, you're showing me, okay, great. I've made my decision. I can put this behind me and move forward. Things are kind of cleared up here. The air is cleared between you and someone or between you and something. I just heard someone say, I'm trying my damnedest. I haven't heard that word in some time. Damnedest. Excuse me, drink responsibly. Um, whatever, I feel like this is an endeavor of some sort. You're, you're, you're energetically taxed, though, from this. You're, you're saying you're having to consciously even make the decision to take time out to figure something out regarding your circumstances just in order to once again keep moving forward with it. So once again, um, oh geez, as I say that drink responsibly, you're like, absolutely, okay, party. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you're on a good one today, Scorpio. That's cool. Um, up for a game. Who's sitting next to you probably got wind of that as well. And I was like, huh? I see the two of you sitting right there. Um, be responsible. Um, spooky season in the spirits, huh? Is this... The actual, interesting, is this the energy of let's have a party, let's have a gathering? Um, is this the, geez, this almost seems like the talk. Like I said, ultimatum, the talk. Um, what was that show with all the couples? They have a, was it uh, 90 Day Fiance? Where they have a certain time a window or period to decide whether or not they're going to actually truly marry someone and commit their life to them or not? Yeah, that I, one or the, uh, what's it called, the blind one. Blind love. The blind love. I think that blind love. That one or, or love is blind. Love is love blind. Is blind. Yeah. This is what this feels like, Scorpio. It's like, are we going to do this? Or are we not going to do this? Are we going to tie the knot? Or are we not going to tie the knot? So what it looks like. But whatever these plans are, yeah, whatever these plans are regarding the future. Um, Hmm. 
Ooh, which direction is this going? Uh, I'm curious. <laughs> so it must have been the uh, up for a game comment that I made. <laughs> um, okay. You're showing me, Scorpio, like, mm, here we go. Yeah, here we go. You guys are trying to figure out what to do in here, what to kind of put together. Once again, it's an energy of planning things out, trying to foresee the future. Um, If you are pregnant, congratulations. I do see that there is a little bit of hesitancy and confusion surrounding that subject. Uh, but ultimately, Scorpio, you're kind of showing me like, I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, I'm getting what I want. Um, at the same time, you do know that there's so much responsibility that comes with such a, in a sense, pivotal point or chapter in your life. Um, that's for sure. That's for sure. What's that about? I'm gonna push this a little bit before I find out and say something. <laughs> Ooh, it had to be that one, huh? Had to be that one. Yeah, had to be that one. I wondered. Um, What is that about? What is that about? And there they are on the side listening in on this, um, strategizing clearly. Hello there, off in the shadows. Um, I feel as if there is a little bit of finessing in this situation between the two of you. I don't know who, who's doing what. I kind of feel like either you're doing it, Scorpio, or they're doing it. You guys are you know pulling this off together, but... Um, there is this energy of as things are progressing and moving forward, you're becoming more happy and fulfilled with the direction that things are taking at the same time because there is so much responsibility and stuff to take care of. You're feeling as if you're getting the recognition that you deserve. Now, whatever this recognition is, whether it be even just from them, I don't exactly know. Um, there is some sort of communication, contact, or discussion between the two of you about some sort of truth. I don't exactly know what that truth is, but it seems and feels as if it's regarding your relationship, your commitment, or your marriage. Um, you're, you're once again kind of saying, like, are things on track? Is this meant to be? Is this destiny? Is this fate? Um, well, I kind of feel like some sort of chapter is supposed to close, and some sort of new chapter is supposed to begin. Which one is which and what the specifics or details are, I don't exactly know. Um... It almost kind of seems and feels like uh, the two of you maybe even collaboratively working towards creating your own sense of stability, success, and recognition. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't exactly know. Um, you know, what's your preferences? Whether you want to be a stay-at-home parent or whether you want to be a successful entrepreneur, I don't know. You could do both. Um, but you're kind of showing me, it's like, it's time for something to change. And, and again, some time for something to change. Yeah, money. Money. It's back to money. Um, I don't know why Pisces keeps popping out through that, but money. And I feel like that's what you're waiting on. It's kind of like, okay, well, me and them are we're doing something, accomplishing something together, but now I'm also kind of waiting for that financial. Okay, so it's a little bit of both. Entrepreneur with the family situation. Okay. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with inner sign and air sign. Oh, water sign. Goodbye.